This is what a flex sensor looks like. Basically it is a variable resistor whose resistance increases when it is bended. It has two terminals for electrical connection. It is made from flexible plastic material. It can be used for many applications which include measurement of movement. This is the Tinkercad playground. Here we are going to do all of our stuff. Let's search and grab a flex sensor from components list. This is what a flex sensor looks like. The reading below indicates its bending angle. Currently it is zero degree, that means it is straight. Let's check its bending capacity. It can bend maximum up to 180 degrees. It is a variable resistor. So, we need to know its maximum and minimum resistance. So we will grab a multimeter. Let's connect it with sensor. Black wire for negative terminal. Red for positive terminal. In the multimeter we need to choose the resistance mode. Let's run the simulations. 30 kilo ohm is displayed on multimeter, which is the straight resistance of the sensor. Let's bend it and see what happens. Yes, the value is changing. It is proportional to the bending. The resistance is increasing. This is maximum bend, 180 degrees and the maximum resistance visible on meter is 163 kilo ohms. We will note down the max and min resistance readings. At 90 degree bend, the resistance is aprox, 70 kilo ohms. Let's stop the simulations. We will not be needing multimeter anymore, so we will delete it. We are interfacing it with Arduino board, so let's grab it out from components rack. We cannot directly connect sensor to Arduino, so we will make a voltage divider circuit for that purpose. This voltage divider circuit will be having a resistance equivalent to sensor's maximum resistance, which is 163 kilo ohm here. The junction of sensor and resistor is connected to the analog pin, A0, of Arduino. Now let's write some code to scan the value of sensor and get some juice out of it. In the void setup function, we need to declare the pin number and its direction. We are using pin number A0 as input. For debugging we will be using serial monitor. To begin serial monitor, serial begin function is used. Also we need to specify the baud rate at which we need to print the output. We are using 9600 bits per second. Let's take a variable X, which will store the analog red or input value from pin A0.
we will print this value serially on monitor. Let's run and check. The analog input is being printed on the monitor, and same is plotted on right-hand side. 159 is the displayed value when the sensor is straight. Let's bend it and see. The value is changing proportionally. For 180 degrees the value is 511. You can see, as the sensor is being bended, the graph is also moving up and down. One hundred fifty nine is the minimum value, so we will subtract it from the input and store it in variable y. Now the value of y varies from 0 to 352. We need to divide the above equation with 352 so the value will be in the range 0 to 1. But the input must also be of type float. Now the value is from 0 to 1. Multiplying it with 100 will give us the percentage of bending. Now it's working fine. The value is in percentage, so anyone can make use of it easily. Thanks for watching, Python every day, like, share, and, subscribe. Don't forget to watch, other videos on our channel, goodbye, see you in the next video.